Oh yeah, Bourbon Quest. Ha <laughs> ha! What a night we got for you today. It's Jack Daniels Coy Hill. Oh, I'm so excited to be drinking this bottle again tonight. Uh, first opened this up probably like right about a month ago, so it's opened up. It was freaking fantastic the first time. I'm anticipating it's going to be just as fantastic, maybe even more. If it's more, I'm going to lose my socks. But anyways, as always, stay hydrated, my friends. So I got another video that's going to be coming up in a few days on this. Uh, uh, I got up this morning, a buddy of mine, uh, Paul, texted me, uh, the, asking me which bottle he should get uh, at a store that was doing an allocation drop. And Well, anyways, so I said, <laughs> Coy Hill for sure, my brother. And so as I was heading into work, I stopped by the liquor store that I knew he was at. And uh, Paul was first in line there. And so I filmed the 60 or 70 people that were in line for Jack Daniels release, which I never thought in my life they'd be in line, what, uh, three hours before they opened for Jack Daniels. And the thing was, they only had like two bottles of this Koi Hill and one bottle of Jack 10. The other stuff, you can pretty much get, you know, those are the two ones that were, you know, maybe somewhat hard to get. I've been fortunate enough to have them both. The Jack 10 was, eh, it was okay. It wasn't great. The Koi Hill, when I tried it the first time, was freaking great. That one would be worth staying in line for. But there was only two bottles. There were 60 or 70 people in there. If you weren't the first two, okay, definitely if you weren't the top four in line, I don't know what you were doing there. But that being said, uh, I was happy for my friend Paul to be able to get the bottle of Koi Hill. Um, and then we, uh, I'll, I'll put that video up on so you can see that here in a few days. Uh, but I told him, I said, it was on my allocation. I'm going to be drinking it tonight. It'll be up tomorrow. So he may have already sipped into it tonight, but I'm sure he'll uh, drink some more of it tomorrow along with uh, this video. But that being said, I'm glad you got a bottle, Paul. Congratulations. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. But anyways, let me let you uh, get a little closer look at the bottle there. Jack Daniels, Coy Hill. So Coy Hill is like the... Um, tallest point or tallest mountain or whatever with one of their warehouses is uh there in lynchburg tennessee um so on the top floors super high proof i think they go anywhere from like 138 to 148 proof this one here is uh 142 on the dot jack daniels uniquely crafted handmade barrel single barrel special release tennessee whiskey Woo! Can I get a go Vols? Hey, speaking of which, congratulations, Tennessee Vols uh, basketball team on beating Arizona tonight. Great job. Uh, as, a, as I'm filming this right after they won uh, against Arizona. And so, Coy Hill, high proof, 142 proof, um, aged up in the buzzard's roost of our barrel house on Coy Hill and bottled uncut at higher proofs. So apparently on Coy Hill is two barrel houses, eight and 13. This one is uh, uh, barrel house number eight, 2020 special release. Uh, I'm not gonna read you the barrel number. Barrel entry was uh, August 2nd of 2012 and then bottling date is September 24th, 21. So right at what, nine years, nine years in a month. All right. Then you got uh, limited bottle number CHHP 07193. Uh, the special release series highlights our innovation in whiskey making here at Jack Daniels Distillery, hand selected from the highest parts of our barrel houses and bottled from single barrels. We fix this one-of-a-kind craftsmanship to you. 
uh, we extend this one of a time, one of a kind craftsmanship to you. And I'm glad you did. Thank you, uh, Chris Fletcher and Jack Daniels. So, without further ado, let's get a little Jack Daniels Coy Hill in the glass. Oh yeah, don't need much of this baby. She got some heat on her. So, let's see what the nose has to offer. Like, so I'm getting like a lot of uh, cherry and banana, which you would expect with Jack Daniels. Mm. And you can smell that proof, that oak, the char. I mean, the nose on the, I mean, look at the color on that. Color is freaking fantastic. I mean, amazing. And the nose is so inviting. It's like caramel and banana cherry and banana vanilla and caramel um barrel char i mean to be honest with you it doesn't nose that high i mean just on the nose i mean i'd say 110 to 115 it doesn't punch you in the punch you in the nose i mean you smell the the heat on it but the nose is nice, inviting, not overpowering at all. Um, I wouldn't say, I mean, I'm getting, you know, just like four or five notes on there with the cherry, banana, uh, barrel char, um, oak. I mean, it's, it's sweet and good on the nose, but we're here for the taste. That's what I'm ready for. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. As always, stay hydrated. All right, Coy Hill. Don't do your thing. Mm. I mean, it's so sweet and the, it's very oily and viscosity and you get that cherry and banana and I mean you get that deep Tennessee hug yeah that's right and long finish great mouth feel I mean I love this I mean I actually do you know again just like on the nose not overly complex but just rich and full uh, a little bit of chocolate and butterscotch. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm getting only about four or five notes, maybe six on there, but they're all so well balanced and well done and rich and dark and deep and freaking delicious. I mean, I still have to say, it'll be it'll be in uh, Bourbon Quest top ten bottles of the year for sure, and we'll see how it does blind. But you know, my opinion, it's absolutely the best bottle I've ever had, and I've had quite a bit. Now that being said, I've not had BTAC. In a well, I did have a Pappy 12 last night at a bar, um, but I've never owned Pappy or BTAC, so I mean, it was nice to try it at a bar, but it, unless I own it, I don't count it. So, and it still is better, that being said. But this is by far the greatest bottle I've ever had. Mm. That being said, I should have been there with Paul to get one of these. But, you know, I already had one. I don't want to be greedy. I'm glad my friend Paul got this and, um, and you know, whatever. But um, if I get a chance without being greedy and I'm not going to stand in line or take it away from somebody else, but I would absolutely love to get another one of these. And it's high proof octane, 
But I will say, at 142 proof, it doesn't drink like that. I mean, you definitely feel the heat and the burn, and it's good with all those flavors. But, I mean, it drinks lower than it's proof. I, I mean, it drinks more like 125 to 130. Oh, so good. But... So I'm going to have another sip because I had a hard day at work. Long day. I wouldn't say a hard day. A long day at work. And obviously I went and filmed for Bourbon Quest at the Mixed Scrooges uh, before I went to work. As they were in line there. And like I said, I think Paul said he got there at 7 a.m. But, hey, I hope if you've had a chance to get this, uh, I got it at retail which I want to say was right at 70 bucks um, and I said before I mean I would definitely pay I'd pay I'd pay up to 150 for this it's that good I'd pay double um, Paul I think got his bottle for $85 today which is freaking fantastic I mean a little above retail but there's no shame in that at all I mean I would pay I'd pay up to 150 uh, for another bottle of these, no doubt. Mm. But if you have this, I hope you're drinking along with me. Um, it's freaking fantastic. Jack Daniels has been killing it on their special releases. I mean, last year's um, Barrel Proof Rye, which I still have some of. I've done a video on it before. I'm sure we'll do another one around it uh, with that and the old Forester's Barrel Proof Rye but and the Heritage Barrel from 2019 and 20 yeah I mean they're freaking killing it and if you think this is old number seven <laughs> you are mistaken but that's okay uh, leave this for me cheers Bourbon Quest I mean, such a long finish and deep and dark. I mean, I'm getting more of that dark chocolate along with that cherry and banana. Definitely the oak char, a little butterscotch. I said banana, right? Yeah, banana. But not, the banana is a little bit faint on this because I think because of the proof, it kind of drowns it out. But I mean, you get the Jack Daniels banana there, but. Oh, this is so good. And dangerous because it drinks lower than it's proof. I mean, if you didn't know better and know what to prove on this, I mean, it could be dangerous because this is a for, a, for a hazmat bourbon, <laughs> this thing is totally crushable, you know, until you freaking pass out from it. But it's so good. I can't say enough good things about it. I know I'm a Jack Daniels fan. I always have been. That was, you know, when I was in college, that's what I drink. I mean, old number seven, not this. And I was uh, in a fraternity, and, you know, every Christmas we would exchange gifts with our big brother and little brother. And, you know, um, my big brother, George Gwynn, always got me a bottle of Jack Daniels for Christmas and and you may have to jog my memory uh, George but I believe your drink of choice it was either I want to say it was wild turkey it's either Jim Beam or wild turkey I want to say it was wild turkey I think Jim Beam was another fraternity brother but anyways my little brother or something but anyways I always got a bottle of Jack and and that's what I mainly drank in college, old number seven, but this is anything but old number seven. This is this is mature whiskey. You know, you drink old number seven when you're immature and in college. When you get a little bit older and more sophisticated and and obviously you have a little bit more money in your in your pocket, hopefully. You step up to Coy Hill if you can get it, because it's delicious. I want I even want one more pour, but I'm not going to. I'm going to savor this. But 
One last sip of Koi Hill. Fantastic. I know I'm rambling on, but it's amazing. And I'm going to savor it and continue to sip on this from time to time uh, because it's amazing. I mean, it really is. Well, I, I'm interested to see how it does. I mean, it would be one of my favorites for Whiskey of the Year. But when we're doing on blind, anything can happen, you know, any given Sunday, right? So good. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. It's been a long day. Thanks for joining in. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. I'm I'm like at 200 and either 260 or 270. Either way, my next goal is to get to 500. Uh, so please uh, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. That way you know every time a new release comes out, just like um, we've got, what, one more? Yeah, for the uh, advent calendar. There's going to a special video coming up on Christmas for a Christmas party I uh, attended last night. Uh, along with uh, whenever I put up the video from the people in line of Scrooges that were trying to get one of these um this morning so you know not only hit that subscribe ring that bell for notifications and uh smash that like button does help out on algorithms and feel free to leave any comments if you like um, i try to respond to those as much as i can and uh as always i thank you for joining in and thank you for uh, all of you that have already done those things i really appreciate it a great deal I uh, hope you're enjoying the content that I'm bringing. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, I'm open to those as well. Uh, if you've got any criticism, I'm, I'm game. Uh, but I just want to close out this evening by saying, as always, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Good night, Bourbon Quest. Stay hydrated. That's a wrap. We're almost through it. One more to go. But this was a this was a special one. Love you. Good night, Bourbon Quest. Bye-bye.